Nintendo Switch is a hybrid console that is uniquely designed as either a home console or a portable device with great quality games. Like most competitors, Nintendo Switch is also not immune to technical issues encountered by other consoles. One common problem some users face is when Nintendo Switch keeps lagging or becoming unresponsive. You don't need to worry though, as this type of error can normally be fixed in a few minutes by following some troubleshooting steps unless it's a hardware issue. When you experience lagging issues on your Nintendo Switch, you need to identify the download and upload speeds of your internet by running a speed test. Take note that the speed requirements for Nintendo Switch should be at least 3 Mbps download and 1 Mbps upload. Here's how to do a speed test on your console. Select system setting from the home screen of your Nintendo Switch. Scroll down and select internet. Select test connection on the right pane to run the speed test. Connection test successful message will appear after the test is completed and the speed results should be found at the bottom of the screen. When the speeds don't meet the requirement, try to unplug and replug the power cord of your modem to restart the connection until speed improves. If lagging continues even if the speed results are good, connect your Nintendo Switch directly to the modem using a LAN adapter. This is done to identify if the problem still exists even if connected directly. A soft reset of the Nintendo Switch console can also fix lagging concerns when playing. Here's how to do it. Press and hold down for at least 15 seconds the power button found on the top left of the Nintendo Switch. Select power options. Select power off and then the screen will turn dark. Press the power button for a few seconds to turn it back on. Port forwarding can be the best solution for this concern if lagging still exists after the earlier steps have been performed. This is a technique to keep unwanted traffic off your network. The steps are a little complicated as it requires you to access your router settings and open certain ports for your Nintendo Switch. You can also contact your internet service provider to set the port forwarding themselves if they are the ones who provide your router. If none of the solutions in this guide helped you at all, you can assume that the problem is likely caused by bad hardware. You should consider getting help from Nintendo by calling them so they can help you set up a repair request. That's it. We hope this video is helpful to you. Please subscribe to know our latest videos in the future.